was a lousy movie. You're telling me that monster looked like a chicken in a wig. Hey, do you remember what we saw the last time we were here? Yeah. Hey, kids, could you spare a nickel? We're not supposed to talk to strangers. And no, I don't have any extra money. Oh, really? Well, how about a dollar and 28 cents? What? How did you know I had that? I've been watching you, kid. Every Monday morning, your mom gives you a dollar and 28 cents. And I want it. But, but that's my milk money. <laughs> See you later, boys. I hope you like water with your lunches. <laughs> Suction is there's no 
prepared the chafing dish, then sent the chef out to get another jar of pickled herring. And the dinner party was saved. Well, thank you, Mr. Alfred. Wasn't that a great story, kids? Well, we've still got more to do today. Mr. Alfred, would you like to stay and watch? Oh, that sounds like fun, but I'm a bit winded from my storytelling, so I think I'd better go home and recharge my batteries. Well, okay. Let's all thank Mr. Alfred for coming today. Thank you, Mr. Alfred. Remember, tomorrow we're going to learn about rumors, little stories that can hurt. Did you hear what Mr. Alfred said? Yeah. He said he had to go home and recharge his batteries. Why would he say that? I don't know. I've got a toy with rechargeable batteries. It's my robot. Do you think Mr. Alfred is a... I don't know. He talks kind of funny, and he's kind of stiff. Kind of like my... Robot! Should we tell anybody? No, we better keep it to ourselves. Keep what to yourselves? Who said that? Hey, over here! The weed! Keep what to yourselves? You're a talking weed! Talking weed, you're a talking carrot. Your point was. So come on, tell me what it is you're keeping to yourselves. It's about Mr. Alfred, but we can't tell you anymore. Listen, Sprout, did your parents ever teach you to share? Well, yes, but. Then share with me. I'm a good friend of Albert's. Alfred. Alfred, I ask because I care. We learned something about Mr. Alfred today. Yeah? What is it? Well, we think Mr. Alfred... Yeah? ...is a robot. No. He looks so natural. He's a good robot. You won't tell anybody, will you? Hey, I'm not like you guys. I got roots. I'm not going anywhere. Your secret stays right here. Mr. Alfred. What? Mr. Alfred, the guy who came to class today. Yeah? He's a robot! <gasps> Aren't robots dangerous? I don't know. Did you hear that? Yes, I think I did. So then, Alfred is a dangerous robot. <gasps> oh my! Whoa, thanks for the tip. Did you hear about Alfred? Huh? A weed! In my yard! Yeah, yeah, yeah. But did you hear about Alfred? What about Alfred? It turns out he's really a dangerous robot! Alfred? Uh-huh. Everybody's talking about it. You don't say! Hey, I just read a book where dangerous robots took over the world. <gasps> Do you think Alfred? He is on the library board. <gasps> Today, the library. Tomorrow, the world. Nothing lifts the spirit more than an afternoon dabbling in the horticultural arts. I couldn't agree more, Alfred. Oh, sweet, sweet Petunia, may your bloom be a beacon of hope for all who tread these grassy hills. I'll get it. Hey, you're a weed. That's right, but did you hear about Alfred? Oh, Alfred's gonna be mad. 
He hates weeds in his flower bed. Yeah, but did you hear about Alfred? You better get out of here before Alfred comes back. You're not listening to me. Did you hear? Master Letty, uh, it's the mayor. She says it's urgent. I'll be right there. I gotta go. Hold that thought. Alfred, there's a huge weed in your flower bed. I told it to leave. Oh, dear. Well, wait till you hear what the mayor has to say. Hello, Mayor. This is Larry. Yes. Hello, Larry. Listen, I need you to get Larry Boy. Uh, yeah, sure, but, uh, why didn't you call him with the Larry signal? Because it's daytime. You can't see it in the daytime. Good point. Alfred, make a note of that. Tell him we need his help. There are weeds, terrible weeds, popping up all over Bumbleyberg. They are saying very strange things about your friend Alfred. I don't believe them, but some of our citizens are getting worried. What's worse, though? They are burning the lawns and gardens of our fair city. Larry, if Larry Boy cannot stop them, our property values will plummet. Our homes will be worth nothing. Can you find him? Don't worry about a thing, Mayor. Help is on the way. Alfred, we've got some gardening to do. Robot, I'm told. He's got lasers for eyes and a microchip brain in his skin is terribly cold. We've heard the one about Alfred. It's strange. Amazing. And true. But now that we've heard about Alfred, we'd like to hear more about you. What? I'm a rumor weed. I'm a rumor weed. One, two, three. Alfred, is it working? Yes, yes, perfect. All right, that's enough, Master Letty. You can come back to the Letty Cave now. Um, I'd love to, Alfred. But it got me by the ear. What? You're a big, strong superhero. Surely you can get away from a little weed. Uh, yeah, you'd think so, but it's kind of strong.
fascinating. Have you figured out how to stop it? Well, not yet, but it's extraordinary. It's like no plant I've ever seen. It doesn't photosynthesize. Why do we care if it takes pictures? No, no, photosynthesize. Plants turn sunlight into energy. It's how they grow, except these weeds don't do that. They don't need energy to grow? Oh, no, they need lots of energy, but they don't get it from sunlight. Well, where do they get it? I can't figure it out. They're feeding off something, but I don't know what. Look, I fed the data about the weed into the Leddy satellite in geosynchronous orbit over Bumbleburg. Now, wherever a new weed grows, we can see it here. See? <gasps> Bumbleburg has the measles! Uh, no, those are the weeds. What? They're everywhere! Yes, and at the rate they're growing, if we can't find a way to stop them... Bumblebird will be really weedy! Oh, it's worse than that! These weeds are strong enough to break up sidewalks, smash through brick walls! If we can't stop them, Bumblebird will be... Destroyed! Uh, no, careful! That's the satellite! Oh, my goodness! What? Look! I had the satellite looking at the surface of Bumblebird. See? Yeah? When you bumped the control, you told the satellite to look under the ground. Now watch! They're all connected. Wow! What's that big green thing right under Bumblebird? It could only be one thing! The mother weed! How do you kill a weed? <laughs> you go to the root! <laughs> You've got to take out the mother weed! Fortunately, I made some modifications to the Larry Mobile that will really come in handy! I don't know what to do! I don't know what to do! Don't worry! I've planned out the entire mission. I'll be right here giving you instructions as you need them. Remember! Bumbleberg is counting on you! You can do it! Must 
Master Larry, are you in the tunnel? Uh, Master Larry! Alright, Alfred, I'm in the tunnel! Alfred! M Master Larry, can you hear me? Alfred, can you hear me? <gasps> the radio isn't working. The sewer walls must be blocking the transmission. That means I can't give him his direction. What do I do? What do I do? What to do? What to do? I must save him. Alfred! I'm coming, Master Larry!
going on? What's that thing that has Alfred? It's a big weed, Dad! Did you hear? Mr. Alfred is really a dangerous robot with laser eyes! What? Who said that? It's true! He's gonna take over the world! Now where did you hear that? The weed told me! Yeah, isn't that right? Did you make up this story? What? I'm a rumor weed. I never make anything up. I heard it from two very reliable sources. Right, kids? Junior? Laura? Do you have something to tell me? Oh. Well, we heard Mr. Alfred tell you that he needed to recharge his batteries. So we thought he must be a robot. Right? Oh, kids, that was a figure of speech. A what? Sometimes grown-ups say things that really mean something else. When Mr. Alfred said he needed to recharge his batteries, he really meant that he was tired and needed to go home and rest. That's all. Oh. Listen, if you hear something about someone that sounds bad or even just weird, you should ask them about it or ask your mom or dad. But don't spread rumors. Even if it's true, God doesn't want us to tell stories that can hurt. He wants us to spread nice words. So Mr. Alfred isn't a robot? No. Mr. Alfred is a very nice man. Did you see that? Yeah. Do you think? We can save Mr. Alfred by spreading some nice words. Come on! Scary robot? He's not a robot. He's a nice man who came to our class to tell us stories. Well, I remember when Alfred helped me out with my dinner party. A scary robot wouldn't do that. He helped me change a tire. He carried my groceries for me. He helped us with our bake sale. Words pierce like a sword. 
but the tongue of the wise brings healing. Proverbs 12, 18. Hmm. So the Bible says, if you're not careful, your words can hurt people, just like a sword. Oh, is that right? Junior and Laura didn't mean to hurt Alfred, but they weren't careful with what they said and who they said it to, and it caused big problems. But that verse also says that if we use nice words, we can make it all better. We can make people feel good. Remember, God doesn't want us to tell stories that can hurt. He wants us to spread nice words. And if you can do that, you'll be that hero too. See you next time. Ta -ta. Fragile leaves, celery, gotta be.